what are the other alternatives which are consistent with uh, net zero obviously renewable energy is solar the wind hydro both small hydro large hydro bio energy these are important in the indian context that way there is uh, for example geothermal ocean energy and there are many other forms but in the indian context they will so have small are, small contributions these are relevant at the scale we are talking about the other things which i mentioned they are the important thing now except bio energy and i'll talk about bio energy separately all other and of course hydro which is saturated i don't think will be able to increase very much any more right in fact we might struggle because of the way uh, glaciers are now melting and yeah yeah true and then also there is potential in nepal and bhutan right, right and pull right. out but there are limits to that uh, additional contribution and so the uh, this growth has to take place on energy sources among renewable which are all variable whereas you know coal coal uh, is a it generates dispatchable power dispatchable at will so uh, a base load what dispatchable means is that uh, you know that 24 by 7 whatever time you need power your grid will have Correct. power Correct. whereas if you have solar you know this will be available at certain hours but not at other hours correct correct so now uh, this variable energy is a great solution at decentralized level i can put uh, on the rooftop uh, solar panels and have a small battery pack and adjust myself what time of the day take bath with warm water what time of the day i do cooking if i can adjust myself i can adjust my demand curve as it were with the the availability of power and this is a feasible solution and we should emphasize it's happening but when it comes to grid grid there is also a demand curve we can also adjust that but there are limits to adjustment that happening. yes and on the supply side the variability is depends on nature we cannot control it and it is in this context that availability of dispatchable power in the grid at a minimum proportion is very necessary because if you don't do that then the management of the grid starts entailing higher and higher capital cost either by way of uh, uh, additional capacities which they cost uh, profile management uh, or uh, by way of additional storage actually it's not or it's and you require investment there you know invest investment in the storage and you also require investment in the so called smart grid managing electronics to stabilize and so forth now these investments are very large and studies have shown that uh, while uh, variable renewable energy cost at the project end generation in are quite low but if you look at it from the at the consumer end they can become they can become three times larger four times larger 